a lot of this cotton got pretty well matted by the storm, and that means it takes several pulls to take it out. You can see it took me several pulls just to get this one bulb out. I'm gonna give this ride a quick go, so uh, wish me luck. Live in Dothan, Zach Wilcox, WTVY, your hometown news leader. Woo! <laughs> Robert tells me you can still use your phone for calls and GPS. You just have to use mounts like this one so that you can keep two hands on the wheel. Simulated smoke will come out of these vents on the trailer and kids will be tasked with safely evacuating before the situation gets out of hand. Well, Devin and Reg, I went ahead and parked my car here along Highway 27 in Geneva. And as you can see, some of these weeds are just about over my head. The Howell School in Dothan is getting a facelift. I'm Zach Wilcox and how the project is going and what it's gonna be turned into coming up. Geneva County is in desperate need of a new jail. I'm Zach Wilcox and how they're moving forward with their plans to get one coming up. The Slocum City Fire Department has just achieved a new rating. I'm Zach Wilcox, and coming up, I'll tell you what that might do for your insurance. Dothan Utilities added this bad boy to their arsenal. Find out what it does coming up. Pedaling, cornering, and jumping. I'm Zach Wilcox, and why the state's best BMXers are gathering in Dothan coming up. Well, Devin, meet Ken Gamble, who, like his name, is betting on a chance to pursue his passion for driving and hit the road. Ken Gamble is used to working on cars. He's been doing it for years. He only has one obstacle. October of 09, I got paralyzed due to a spinal stroke. And um, it's been a little challenging, but you know, we're trying to make the best of it. And I'm really wanting to get to work. Ken has wanted to work for nearly a decade, but he hasn't had any luck. All they see is a wheelchair. A lot of people, they don't see me, myself, uh, they don't see my resume, my application, all my credentials. All they see is a wheelchair and they're like, you know, don't want to take a chance. If employers won't take a chance on him, Ken figures he'll take his chances pursuing a new goal. Becoming a truck driver. I want to be able to get back out in the world and drive. That's one of the things I'm good at. Ken has used his knowledge of cars to adapt his lawnmower and van so he can still get the thrill of being behind the wheel. After months of studying the handbook, he thinks he's ready for his commercial driver's license test. All he needs is a truck. The truck would need to be wheelchair accessible and fitted with hand controls and an automatic transition panel. But trucks like that aren't particularly common, and they're expensive. I'm thinking this is probably going to run probably thirty to 40000 He's inspired by this trucker in Missouri. His truck has the necessary enhancements, but he rarely takes loads through Dothan. So Ken is still looking for an 18-wheeler to borrow for his test. He wants to make sure he can get the license before making the big investment. I think it'll actually prove what I've been saying for years. Uh, just because somebody has a disability, whether it be a wheelchair, a mental, or physical of any kind of disability, that don't mean anything. Well, Ken says he's reached out to the Vocational Rehabilitation Services, and they're willing to help him adapt a truck once he gets one. In Dothan, Zach Wilcox, WTVY, your hometown news leader. As you can see, the lining of the drain pipe is starting to wear down, and city employees tell me the terracotta is even starting to crack, which could cause sewage buildups. Devin, I don't know if you remember the last time that I was at the field here, but it was still brown, and there was no place to sit. The carriers get to start their day here sorting mail in the post office, but then they got to go out and battle the heat. Administrators used to have to pull the video out of the security system on the bus itself, but now they get a live feed straight to their computer. As you can see, the construction crew has been able to work around the pole so far, but they're supposed to start digging later this week, and eventually they're going to need for it to be removed. The city of Blakely has received a million-dollar grant. I'm Zach Wilcox, and what that will mean for community development coming up. Mural City Coffee Company is approaching its grand opening. I'm Zach Wilcox, and coming up, we'll show you how they're brewing up some national attention for Dothan. Cobbettville Junior High has been open to students for a while now, but what do parents in the community think? I'm Zach Wilcox, and coming up, a live look at the open house. People won't be able to do their grocery shopping at the IGA in Slocum anymore. I'm Zach Wilcox, and what that might mean for this community, coming up. Geneva County is getting a new jail soon, but do they have the officers to fill it? I'm Zach Wilcox, and I'll have the story coming up. Devin, details are a little limited as investigators continue their work. What we do know is that unfortunately the house is a total loss, but at the very least, no one was hurt. We were, me and my mom and my girlfriend were sitting there talking at my house and uh, she got a phone call. The next thing Grayson knew, he was looking at his Uncle Roger's house going up in flames. 
He said last time he was here was about six o'clock this afternoon. And he said he, he was washing clothes at my grandma's house. He had no clue. Southern Junction Fire Department was first to respond to the scene at 619. Several nearby fire departments were called upon to provide extra manpower to battle this large fire. This day and time, it's hard to get volunteers anyway. So yeah, the more, the better. Uh, we were lucky it was at night. And uh, that way we didn't have to go through as many firemen at one time. Firefighters were able to get control of the fire quickly, but the home is no more. Fortunately for Grayson's uncle, Roger Sasser, family members are willing to offer assistance. He's going to stay with my grandma for the time being. Some firefighters have stayed behind to make sure there aren't any residual flames that could spark back up, and they will monitor the area throughout the night. Live in Rehoboth, Zach Wilcox, WTVY, your hometown news leader. Now, Sergeant Wiseork just drove past me, and he told me they still haven't found him yet. It's, it's been a couple of hours now, but investigators will continue looking into this for the rest of the night, and we'll wait until the morning when they have more information and, and maybe even some video. Well, I spoke to the city attorney, and he told me that the city of Enterprise is working on a course of action to force these apartment complexes into making the needed improvements. I'm hoping to hang with them tomorrow when they go out for the cleanup effort to really assess how bad the damage is here in Donaldsonville. There was a gentleman here who was filling up about six of them, and he said he ran out of diesel just about the time that he was finishing his last one. So again, there's, there's not a whole lot of gas to go around. Although to you and me, this may just look like a fun ride, for Dothan Utilities, it will save them up to $70,000 a year. Well, Devin, just as kids finished streaming out of the building at the sound of the last school bell, parents and community members went headed right back in. Houston County School Buses just got a little safer. I'm Zach Wilcox, and coming up, the new technology that will help administrators track activity on the bus. A storm is brewing. Are you prepared? I'm Zach Wilcox, and coming up, how the Ashford Rescue Squad is getting ready. Honeysuckle Middle Schoolers have been busy after school. Now parents get a taste of what they've been up to. I'm Zach Wilcox, and I'll have the story coming up. Hey, Devin, well, this all got started around 7.30 this afternoon, and it's pretty much been one band after another since then. Right now, the Colts from Dubuque, Iowa, have the field. And I got the chance to talk with some of the people involved, and you get the gist that this has kind of been like the summer of a lifetime. It's really cool getting to um, learn and perform this show with 140 of my closest friends that I you know, travel, travel the country with. Jasper Bailey plays mellophone for the Seattle Cascade. This is his second year performing in Drum Corps International, and the passion for it runs in the family. My parents met through um, another drum corps, so I've just been immersed in drum corps my entire life. You know, going to shows, you know, four months after I was born, I went to the finals for Drum Corps International. It's a collection of high school and college marching band students coming together to put on shows across the U.S. The bands come from all over the country. We get them from Texas, from Florida, from Canada. We've had some from Italy and Japan. Um, but even with all these students coming from different cultures, different and backgrounds, different families. Um, the one thing they have in common is their love for music, their love for performing. And just to see them all come together and just create something really special uh, is an absolutely rewarding experience. Not all of the students at Rip Hughes Stadium were from so far away. Members of the Northview Band came to see what it looks like to be experts in the craft. These guys have a chance to really polish things, so you can. It gives them a really good example of what you're after. Uh, their, their music, their marching is at such a high level. It's like that's what we, you know, like to, for you guys to get as close to as you can. Well, there's still a few more groups to go, but uh, as soon as they'll, as soon as they're finished, they'll be headed up to Atlanta for the Southeast Drum Corps Championship. And I'm sure it's been a long summer for these guys, and it's going to be an even longer next couple of days in Dothan. Zach Wilcox, WTVY, your hometown news leader.